Yes, sir. Got it. What's going on, y'all? Carlito here, back with another video on your screen. I'm here with my boy and his dad, you know, some uh, great men, you know, Michael, Showtime Dawson, Jr. and Sr., man. You know, it's a, it's a great pleasure always for y'all to be on my channel. You know, first off, man, how are you doing today? I appreciate the time. Uh, we're doing good right now. Uh, currently, we're getting ready to train again around like five o'clock, a couple hours. But for the most part, we're doing good, ready for the tournament and ready to prove everybody. You know, we got a lot to prove this tournament. So I'm just ready for the tournament, really. Yeah, it's going to be a whole lot different. Uh, we got far this last tournament back in March. I feel like the, uh, the last fight he had in the tournament, the decision, I wasn't satisfied with the decision, but we ain't gonna dread on that. We got we got something to bring to the table this time. It's gonna be you know bigger. It's a whole different situation, man. Older situation. We coming out with that number one spot this year. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah most definitely. For sure. I remember what y'all told me last time uh, about the decision at the last minute was this uh Yeah, man. They gave him a, uh they gave the other guy gave him unanimous. unanimous decision. We don't watch the tape over and over and over. Impossible, man, but we ain't even gonna leave it in the judge's hands, man. That's the whole goal is gonna knock everybody out all yep. through the tournament. Yeah. That's it. Hell yeah. So besides <laughs> all the the um getting ready for the tournament and everything else with the gym that y'all um that y'all train in and um y'all own it. Um how does how's everything else been? You know, uh, getting ready. Cool, man. Everything been cool, man. I had a little situation, had to deal with that, that COVID, man. So it slowed me down for a week, like a week and a half, whatever. And I had to go to the hospital. It kind of slowed the training down. It didn't, I ain't gonna say it slowed the training down because they continued to train. Yeah, we kept working. They kept working, you know, like a warrior. But it slowed me down from being being there as a coach. But now it's all good. I'm out. I feel 100% at 100% and we're back to training even harder. The whole team. That's dope. So many people got COVID, man. It was so uh Yeah, I know it's crazy. Man. Yeah. Out of nowhere too. It was nuts. And um, you know, the gym. You know, let me know about the gym. Like, has it changed at all? Have y'all got a lot more people? Well, we got, man, it, it, it's up and down. It's up and down. You know, we have people that that come and go. You know, you got boxing the sport, you gotta be a hundred and fifty percent dedicated to. A lot of them ain't dedicated, you know. I understand people got other things going on in their life, you know, but sometimes we got people come and just waste our time. But right now, we, we still got a nice uh, squad, but the focus is on the ones that are serious and more dedicated right now. You know, with this national tournament, I'm just focusing on the ones that's just right, right there ready to go down here and get this win. So then we get back, we figure out everything with the rest of the team, you know. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And um, you were saying something about like a, a leg injury or something like that last time, right? Uh, with me, uh, yeah, I had a um, I had some called uh, compartment syndrome in my legs, and I was supposed to get surgery for it, but we just held out on competition for like two months, and just focused on like uh, strength training on my legs and uh, make sure my legs is durable for three rounds and amateurs or three three rounds throughout the whole tournament. But now they uh they back in shape now they good so it's not really a problem, not fight through it. If I if it do end up being a problem, I know how to fight through it now, so it's not really a problem anymore. Yeah, yeah. that's dope, bro. I'm glad that it um was able to fix itself. In that, right, without that, um, yeah. especially yeah, you want to try to avoid that. Yeah, for real, because um you know I never had an in I had an injury back in high school, you know uh with my sh with my shoulder elbow. And I was supposed to have surgery too, but I just never got it. But it just every now and then it kind of creeps up here and there. But you know, for the most yeah. part, it's better. That's right. Good. So for the um, have any any word about you know taking pro fights in the near uh, like coming near and so coming up? Yeah. Um. Actually, the plan the plan was after the nationals, uh, to win the nationals and then afterwards uh try to get my first pro fight in February because I want to take uh the month of January to like travel around spar with different pro fighters get a lot more experience so um right now the plan is still to fight in have my first pro fight in February 
But if I do end up going to Team USA and be, being able to fight overseas, international, and not hold off on pros so I can get some more experience uh, internationally and hopefully fight in the uh, IEBA tournament. Yeah, no doubt. That's dope, bro. Yeah. Uh, like, what would you rather prefer? Would you rather, you know, turn pro or just keep at, um, you know, the amateurs and the going to nationals? Uh, like, how do you feel about, like, I would, I would prefer, I would prefer to turn pro, but um, I think it'd be a better decision for me to stay amateur if I was able to go international, just because most amateurs, they're not able to get um, international experience. So I think that'd be good for me to uh, get that experience before I turn pro, because most pros don't have that international experience. Mm -hmm. So that'd be, a, that'd be, be coming into pro games up a level on everybody because I got the international experience that most pros didn't get the chance to get. Right. That's true. That's true. So what's uh what's one thing you want to take away from um boxing? Like after I know you're only a you haven't turned pro yet, but mm -hmm. uh, then one of the new questions I've been asking, like what have you taken from it, you know, senior? What have you taken from boxing, you know, over the past, you know, years that you've done it? Mm -hmm. As far as what you said, what have I taken from boxing? Yeah, what have you taken from boxing and how has it helped you? You know, basically, uh, man, help me with help me with helping that other guy, like helping the, not just my son, but other young men, you know, stay focused, keep them out, off the streets. It helped with discipline for them as well. You know, and me, man, it, it's something to keep me going and keep me going. You know, I've been doing boxing, keep me in shape too. So I've been doing boxing all my life, really way before my son was born, you know, it been it been boxing, boxing, boxing. So it's like, I, I live off of this, you know, just the boxing, that's what I get my energy from it, you know? So uh, the whole, since March, the things changed. I think I, I think we changed the way I uh, got it, okay. Mm -hmm. I changed, since March, I changed the way we, uh, I think our training routine is a little different, you know, and our, our whole, Oh, got these calls coming in. Oh, it's all right. Our whole um, draft, uh, as I said, uh, our attitude towards is a little bit different. We know how to go in here. Now we know what we got to go in here and do. You know, we know we can't go in here, play around in the ring. We can't leave it in judges. We got to fight a certain way. So it, we, we changed everything up a little bit since March. Yeah. And then for you, bro, like, you know, uh, working through everything, working through your injuries, in the past, um, how do you feel about where your career is at right now in boxing? And where do you, what's your all time goal in boxing? Uh, right now, uh, I feel like my, I feel like my boxing career is at a good point right now, just because we getting a lot of notability. Um, I do feel like I, I can, it's always uh, another level that you can reach. So right now I'm just chasing another level. And then once I get to that level, I'm gonna be chasing another level. But uh, my uh, my goal in this sport, uh, my main goal is just to be able to provide for my family. That's really it right now. And um, and be a world champion. That's my that's my biggest goal. Once I reach that goal, then you know it's time for new goals. So that's my only goal right now. But back to the question about what I took from boxing. Um, yeah. I just took uh, boxing. It it taught me how to be humble about a lot of stuff. Not only with boxing, but in life, period, you got to be humble. And that's what boxing taught me. And discipline as well. That's really what I took from boxing. Oh, yeah. That's been dope, bro. And yeah. uh, really good, you know, really good answers and stuff. And it's just been, it's been crazy, bro. Like, it's been a roller coaster ride over here on this side, too. And, you know, I can't wait to see what happens, you know, right. this national tournament and see what happens, bro, with the pro and, yeah, that's what we're waiting on, man. That's what we're waiting on. It's the next big step. Yeah. I, I think this is the most – we anticipated this tournament more than any other tournament we had. It's like a vintage tournament, you know, like we're ready to just go show everybody. Like it's, saying, it's, it's over. You know, he, he go – he coming back with the number one spot and we go truck through everybody. Hell yeah. yeah. And where's the – where's this national tournament going to be? Uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. Hell yeah. yeah. Sounds good. You know, let my subscribers know where they can find you at. Uh, social media wise and for your gym. 
uh, you can find us on Facebook, uh, Michael Manman Dawson Jr. Um, Instagram, we have uh, Capital Punishment Boxing. I think it's cap is it capital underscore yeah, capital underscore punishment, punishment underscore, underscore boxing. boxing. It's a few of them on there, so you got to look for this. Look for this. I don't know if you can see it, but look yeah. for that CP logo on uh, Instagram when you go to uh, Capital Punishment Boxing. Click on it's a blue logo, and we set we like we want that we want all the followers come check us out. Yeah, we also got a uh, we got a road to nationals video coming. Um, we're gonna drop it around like. Uh, December on December fourth probably, mm -hmm. but that'll be on YouTube too. So stay tuned to that. Um, we gotta make a channel for it, and it's basically just gonna be like us training all the way up to nationals, right? And us going through whatever we go through all the way up to nationals, all the way up to nationals, like all access kind of. That's dope, bro. That sounds good. All the way, are we going out tonight? All the way, I'ma chug the bottle, chug it all the way. Made it this far.